Now to those of you who saw Going My Way, our next guest needs no build-up. You all remember lovable Father Fitzgibbon. And here's the man who made him so memorable, Barry Fitzgerald. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Davis. And hello, men. Barry, I want to congratulate you on winning the Academy Award for the best supporting role of the year. But in my opinion, you should have been named the best actor. Ah, no, Bing, you won it, and you deserve it. No, you deserve it, Barry. No, no, you deserve it, Bing. No, you deserve it, Barry. No, no, you did, Bing, you deserve that. Believe it or not, both these men are over 35 years old. <laughs> well, just like you, Bing, I give all the credit to Leo McCary. He understands me so well because we're both from the old side. Uh, give me an Irish director every time. Uh, you're right, Barry. Tell me, who's going to direct your next picture? Oh, a fine broth of a boy. Gregory O'Rattle. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have news for you, Dad. Gregory Ratoff is a Russian. He comes from Lublin. Well, how do you like that? <laughs> I thought he said Dublin. <laughs> Well, I'm sure you'll be just as good under a Russian director as an Irish one. One of these days, you'll even top going my way. That's mighty nice of you, Bing, and I enjoyed working with you. You know the scene I like best in the whole picture? The scene where you've been sick and you reach into your music box and whip out that bottle of hooch you've been saving. <laughs> See, that was a beautiful. Yeah, it wasn't it, though. Yeah, 12 years old, every drop of it. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to ask you, Barry... After we did that scene, what ever happened to the bottle? Well, as I remember, that was the night that Leo McCary demoted himself from director to prop man. <laughs> oh, Leo. Leo uh, snagged the happy amber, huh? Yeah, you know something, Ming? We were awful suckers to let that scene get right through on the first try. Yeah, we could have retaked ourselves into quite a hilarious evening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Leo got the bottle, but I did manage to get the music box. They gave it to me after the picture. Oh, you still have it? Hmm? But the trouble is that the only thing that comes out of it now is too ra loo ra Do you remember how you sang it to me in the picture, Ben? Oh, sure. It went something like this. too ra loo loo ra 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 Hush, now don't you cry. was great, Bing. You sang it even prettier than you did in the picture. Save that soft soap, Fitzgerald. The picture's over now. Huh? Who are you? Bill Frawley is the name. Hey, Bill, what are you doing on this Academy Award show? I dropped in to get a good look at that Fitzgerald, the guy who did me out of an Oscar. I was the leading character actor in this town till that Schlemiel came along. <laughs> Don't you call me a schlemiel, you schnook. <laughs> Bill, what are you burned up at Barry for? He happens to be a fine actor. Fine actor. All he's got is a Cockney accent. Is it my fault that my folks don't come from Cockney? <laughs> <laughs> now, me dear Mr. Feely... Frawley is the name. <laughs> well, whatever it is, I want you to know that my accent is not Cockney. It's pure County Dublin Irish. No. Yeah, now, whoa, whoa, take it easy. Don't get hot, Bill. Maybe next year you'll win an Oscar for the best supporting actor. No, no, I'm all through with that supporting stuff. From now on, I'm going to leave that sort of thing to Mr. Fitzpatrick here. <laughs> Fitzgerald is the name. Who Bill. cares? You mean you're quitting the screen, Bill? No, no, Bing. I mean that from now on I'm going to be a leading man. I want to be a great star like you. Like me? Sure. 
And you shouldn't go around telling people that you didn't deserve an award, that it was all McCary's doing, that you can't act, that you have no talent. I shouldn't? Certainly not. It's so obviously true. <laughs> That's not a very nice thing to say, Mr. Feinberg. You stay out of this. <laughs> Feinberg. <laughs> I'll tell you why you got the Oscar, Bing. Because you can sing. And that's why I'm going to get one next year. Oh, tell me you're a good singer. Oh, no, I sing about like you do. <laughs> it's your arrangements that make you sound good. That is pure pericomal propaganda. <laughs> you think it's my arrangements, huh? Sure. So I went out and had a special arrangement made of a song I like. All we have to do is uh, sing it uh, as a duet in our next picture, and bango, we both get Oscars. <laughs> Sounds interesting. Let's uh, let's uh, case this little gem of yours. Where is it? All right, here you are. I sing the lead, of course. Snatch, snatch. All right, hit it, Bill. I'll pick it up somewhere. <laughs> I had a sweet as apple cider. I like to be beside you, Ida. Sweeter. Then all I know Just to know an awful knot They've got what you've got Come out In the silvery moonlight Oh, Jenny, dear Of love will whisper So soft and low You could keep it nice and low There's no reason folks should know Seem so <laughs> And live without you I got a certain charm about me Listen Oh, honey, do Oh, cantaloupe, oh, honey, do I'd, uh, I'd idolize you I love you, I'd, uh, honey, dee, I do Doodle-loop, 